<laughs> Don't save that. <laughs> a new fight at Cage Wars. I'm looking forward to do that. It's gonna be a great show. So let's go hard. Represent Sweden. Represent Brazil. The camp starting now. So I have uh, five, six weeks to to get ready. I'm now around 82, 83. So I have let's say 12 kilos to go down and then everything goes but work diet and everything as uh, as usual i'm going there to to bring it back to my home again bring it to my family looking forward to do it again at the biggest show in europe and and do a great job as i did last time uh, and that's the goal so the belt is the is the goal for me, so I'm not there to play. I'm there to be a champion on that organization. That's what I'm coming for. That's it. I saw his one of his fights once live. Cage Warriors was two years ago, or when was it? Two years ago. Amazing fight. The whole crowd was with the butcher. It was nice. I got kicked out though. I was making too much noise. They kicked me out of the stadium. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, my name is uh, Babak. I'm an uh, Iranian. I used to wrestle in uh, Sweden. Then I went to US, wrestled in uh, college division one. I became uh, three times NCAA qualifier, uh, All-American. And uh, after that, I became a coach for a lot of uh, big guys, big names like uh, Alice Overeem, Vito Belfort, Thiago Silva, uh, you name it, a lot of guys. So we had success, and uh, so that's what I do now, I train these guys. Uh, I met Rafael, uh, I think it was through uh, some friends, and then in a training session, and uh, I could see already this guy is a hard worker. Like you could see when he walked in, you could see the killer eyes, killer instinct. If you've been around a long time and you've been coaching a long time, you see you see guys, like you know, this guy coming in, who he is, who is not. Same thing, we have a lot of guys, they use the sport to become famous, but some other guys, they just use sport because they love it. All he needs to focus on just himself. Uh, so no distraction, nothing, which he's very good at it. Stay healthy, which he is again. Eat healthy, which he does. And he's a family guy, you know, that's the best fighter you could have. Being a family guy, family oriented, focus on his kids, his family, and just be able to have that tunnel vision. 
usually he has that tunnel vision when it comes to the fight, especially these last year. So uh, that's all he has to think about. His nutrition, he has good sponsors. And uh, so I'm very happy for him. <laughs> I'm always uh, grateful what I got from him and, and since we start my MMA game changed a lot so thankful and uh, not only that we are good friends we try and we share things it's a big pleasure to be with such a good uh, coach that have the experience they have and, and the level he is. So. My name is Robson, and um, I'm black about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, me and Rafael, we are old friends since we was uh, 11, 11 years old. We trained back in Brazil with uh, with Mauro and uh, Sensei Ricardo. We know each other for many, many years. So I will believe uh, in Rafael in his fight, and also he is going to be uh, a, a great champion. Yes, I believe that. It's, it's very, very important. If you don't have uh, Jiu-Jitsu, you can't fight uh, MMA. It's the most important thing on MMA is uh, the Jiu-Jitsu. You need it. It's very important to have it. Uh, my, name, my name is Ricardo. Ricardo Barbosa. <laughs> I'm planning to go to Norway to, to do part of the camp, part they're gonna do here. And I'm looking forward and I'm gonna do everything I have in my hands to make the, the win come to my home, to my family. Let's work hard, uh, let's make the, the job done. <laughs> 